Welcome back to week 13 of how to grow long natural 4C hair by doing these three things. And if this is the first time that you're on this channel Hi. and introduced to this challenge, I want to encourage you by the end of this video, go ahead and check out the playlist and start from week one. Believe me, once you do that, this will all make sense. What's up people, Jerry J here. Hey, and if you want to take control of your 4C hair life, start today. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Let's jump in. So let's just jump into number one. Educate yourself on basic hair science. Knowing why something is important is the absolute first step to becoming and staying motivated to achieve a goal. Our goals are healthy hair, and lymph retention. Let's talk about why we do certain things to our hair by discussing some basic, really, really basic hair science. Did you know the hair shaft is composed of three different layers? So what we wanna do is focus on the cortex first. The cortex is the middle structure of the actual hair shaft, which provides strength, color, and texture to our hair. Now the main struggle that most naturals suffer from is dryness and that's for two reasons. One, they don't understand that our natural sebum glands cannot travel down the length of our hair because our hair is just curly or coily, whatever you want to call it. So it's not getting lubricated by our own natural oils. Two, it is because they're only treating the surface layer of the actual hair strand and not the foundation. As you all know, if you don't have a solid foundation or a strong core in this example, everything else falls apart. In order to have healthy, natural hair, you must start at the core or cortex. And the only way to maintain the health of the actual cortex in our hair strands is by using products that can actually penetrate the hair shaft. And that is through deep conditioning. Deep conditioners are the only products that have small enough molecules in their ingredients to penetrate the hair shaft. But let's talk about how that penetration works in the hair, like nothing else. So taking a look at the diagram again, Let's talk about the cuticle. The cuticle is the hair's outermost layer which has shingles or scale-like cells that overlap. These cells work to prevent damage from the hair's inner structure and controls the water content in the hair fiber. Now, I've talked about this before and I'll link it in the icards above here, yet you can control the opening and closing of the hair's cuticles through two common ways and that is through pH levels and temperatures. For this reason, this is why it's highly recommended that you use some form of steam when deep conditioning. What you want to do is open that hair's cuticle, allow that deep conditioner treatment to penetrate the hair shaft to reach the core, create a strong foundation, right, with hydrating that cortex, and then seal that cuticle either by cold water or cooler water because I can't take freezing water myself or through pH levels. Which leads us to number two. Know your hair porosity. The majority of us know porosity refers to how well your hair is able to absorb and retain moisture. The porosity of your hair plays a big role in how your hair responds to products. Think of your hair strand like a sponge with tiny, tiny pores that have the ability to absorb in molecules. The smaller the molecule, like water or H2O, the more easily and deeper it penetrates into your hair. And as you all know, it's not only about learning from one natural, 
We are a community of naturals who come together and share our best practices. She did an excellent job of explaining this topic in really, really great detail. So I encourage you, if you do not know your hair porosity or understand how porosity works, go in the description box below. There is a link to that video. And let's talk about tip number three. Wash and deep condition your hair now that you know moisturizing and hydrating your hair starts from the inside out this should keep you motivated to stay consistent weekly with your wash days the only way to combat dryness is to hydrate that cortex sealing that moisture by closing those cuticles and repeating repeating these steps on a weekly basis let me know how you guys are doing in the comments below next week is the time the week for you for me to celebrate you and your success so you want to make sure that you post in the comments below so i can feature your comments in next week's video let us know does this help is this simple enough like let me know because if it's not I'll make another video and I'll try to explain it in a different way. Again, if this is your first time being introduced to this challenge, I want you to click the playlist here, start from week one. Believe me, once you start there, everything else will make sense. And I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. <laughs> All right, guys, check, on the, check out the videos on the screen. I have been talking too much. And until next time, again... Your girl got separation anxiety issues. Do not leave me.